guys, what's up? Sorry, I thought I was recording all the time. I had a whole introduction, but it didn't really go off because my uh, headphones weren't plugged in. But, um, yeah, no, it's, it's Sheepy versus Thor. Uh, Thor playing Center Lands, Sheepy playing a Shattered Peaks. This is way too loud. A um, Shattered Peaks Savage Tundra deck that's kind of like a meta. It has a lot of soften in there, so a lot of things to reduce armor. Um, so it works well with the Lunks Marauder. Um, that's kind of the idea behind this deck. It has a lot of healing as well, I was told. I was talking with uh, Thor right here, and he said um, it's a very strong deck, you know. It has a lot of healing, you'd have to kill it right away. Something like that. And then, you know, Thor's deck, kind of a, a, a you know, a power turn deck. Um, not only though, I mean, because of the um, aspect of violence, but um, just because, you know, Skizzy Drummer's in there, and then, I don't know, it's a, it's a good, you know, one round deck, I guess, with uh, a few of his ultra champs. Um, yeah, but it's, it's ma mainly a, a meta um, Savage Ton or something like Sundered Lions deck. See, tell him good luck, have fun, tell him good luck, see who else is watching. Ah, just me. It's so sad. Alright, what did we just have stealth? It was the Lunks Marauder. Yeah, the Lunks Marauder stealth, like I said. He's gonna be in here, in this deck. Um, he has Hunter... Hunter, um, crippled. So that's why it works so well with all the, um, soften going around in this deck of, uh, Sheepies. Yeah, and I mean, for now, he's just, they're both playing kind of defensive. This, this map is kind of one of two things. Either you get rushed, you're, you're uh, fond, or kind of you have to like hold back and poke in. I mean, you're not very far away from the enemy shrine, so you can kind of start poking the enemy shrine, but, um, you know, you don't want to get overrun. But like I said, this stack right here doesn't have that much um, damage, but if you soften, for example, this enigma up to like minus five damage, then he'll be taking 13 damage from every one of the rift spirits, granted. So, um, soften does make it so even champions with very low damage will do damage in and of itself. Um, that's why. And Aeroi Rift Lord is just super strong because it's only 70 Nora, but he's, you know, right now he's, what, 63 HP? And then that's another, you know, nine, 60 HP over here almost. So that's a lot of HP for just 69 Nora. And uh, he actually does okay damage if you get a lot of, you know, encouraged, you know, going off. I'm not sure what he's looking for right now, um, Thor is, he only has four champions on the board, and they're all pretty cheap, they're all only in the 60s, 70, 40, even, 82, um, so, and it lost Marauders out, so I know there's a, a, quite a bit more Nora on the board for, um, Sheepy right now, so I'm wondering where the Nora for it, Thor is, um, he should have, I don't know, at least 100 some Nora out, maybe ready to place Vindrax, Vindrax might, not do too good here versus the magic damage from the Rift Lord and the um, Spirits. An AoE attack on this Rift Spirit though would be nice to uh, kind of stop stop them from coming too close. If you had Cleave or something, that'd be nice. Yeah, he's, he's still retreating. He still doesn't have the answer I guess or maybe he's just waiting up to get them all in a good uh because he plays quite a bit of um spells so Thor might play something like you know um what is it burning sands with uh sandstorm with acrid or what am I saying acid gale it's just like five different you know AOE spells just burn everything down right away that might be his plan Um, because, yeah, no, he, ah, he's retreating. There's a, another Farron Dancer now.
Alright, sorry, I'm back. I had to leave there for a sec. The door. Um. Anyway, nothing happened though. They're still kind of just waiting it out. I feel like though that he has to watch out. Thor is really good in these stalls. Um, especially if he gets a few champions out. Like, uh, um, his Aspen of Violence. So he should. I feel like he could have gone in that last turn where he was over here. He could have gone in. Um. And he wouldn't have done too bad. He would have been able to tank it out, I feel like. Um, but I don't know. What? back again oh my god all these delays but still nothing's happening so it's all okay nothing is happening we're good nothing interesting um, can talk about these champs a bit um, drummer efficient champ because of uh, battle drum giving benediction that's the spell right there benediction I mean you can use dronic benediction you get two AP and all these stats but this way you have a 49 nor champ that's cheaper than the spell itself and you gain one AP less but you get a champ on it. So it's like, well, hmm, what am I going to rather play, you know? So, but I, mean, I guess Veronic Battle Drum is delayed and it's kind of um, telegraphed. Once you have the champ out, you know that it can come whenever. Um, yeah, um, Enigma, very hard to kill because of Vitality creation. So he is, you know, right now 62, 62 HP. If you get him out early, you know, it's a 67 Nora champ. So really, really cheap and you're getting shitloads of Nora, I mean HP. And because it's under lands, uh, he just has, he's just tanky by himself, you know? So, um, of course, Norn induction, meaning that every time he attacks, would be, I guess, effectively be costing uh, 69 Nora. But Nora in little, you know, fractions like that is much more worth it for you than, you know, having this champ be, let's say, 75 Nora, I feel like, in my, in my opinion. Um, slag, that's weird. In meta, that's interesting. Alright, so he used a um, magnetic backlash right there. Um, 12 acid damage plus another 4 for all the charges. So he lost all his charges and now he's only have uh, 17 HP, all the charges are gone. Um, he didn't want the uh, acid infinity to replicate. Um, that's why he had to run him in there. Um, he also took 4 damage because of the charge, and he'll take 5 from, or he'll take a little, alright there was a swap, um, he might just be going for the re for the shrine now though, or for the Skizik drummer, um, what we'll see, if he goes for the shrine and doesn't get the kill though that's very dangerous, yeah I think he's going for the shrine, what's he have though, maybe, I guess a, um, Alacracy for the for the AP gain. Let's see what is he gonna do? Quite a lot of HP for a um, for a shrine. Shrines take a little bit less damage from champions. Yeah, there's that Alacracy. Now he's gonna go for the shrine kill, but dancers don't have that much damage on them. So seven, seven. Ah, uh, will that be enough? It'll be very close. I think so, though. I think that's enough. Well, if he uses one more spell. It's 15. It's, yeah, it's very close, but he doesn't have the HP, the damage right now. All right, there's one Havoc touch. Ah, the Lynx Marauder is out. Okay, there's the kill. Yeah, it goes for the shrine. Yeah, you have to watch out on this this map. You can't let your uh, your relic your shrine with 50 HP. Um, which, yeah, too, too much. They're very close in uh, rating, though. 
610 to 1629. See if they do a rematch, then we just keep the game going. Who's this? Waxlers. The Shrine Rush. Let's see if they have a nice. Maybe best of two? Let's see it. Come on, come on. If they start chatting, then I'll, I'll log off or I'll uh, quit the game. But they might go right away for a game, too. Yeah, there's the game, too. Let's get jump right in. Different map, hopefully. Something that's not. I didn't look at the map right there, but um, hopefully a, a map. There we go. Okay. So, I first. What was it? Peaks, something like that. Um, so this <laughs> this is exactly the opposite of the deck we just saw. The deck or the map we just saw, Forsaken Waste, is the well-known Shrine Rush deck. You're just so close distance-wise, and this deck, this um, map, is probably the farthest distance you can be versus an enemy shrine. You're uh, all the way down here, so you'd have to go all the way up here through here, the Z right there, and then get all the way to the enemy shrine. Unless you know by error, it's like this much, but still. Um, yeah, pretty far to get to the enemy. <sighs> nice double deploy though by um, Sheepy. So he can, he, you know, stays in, um, you know, at par font wise. Of course, a nice you know, deploy by to get Skizzy Hunter as well, though. And so I guess that's his detection right there. Um, that's why he plays Skizzy Hunter. Also, not like 68 Nora, you know, pretty hard to kill. Has Blitz, and that with Leap is not horrible. You know, you make some damage. Ooh, this was this is a good play, especially versus the um. Aeroy Rift, because all of these summons now have, are very much in danger of a swarm by the Locust. So that's a good deploy right there. There's the Lynx Marauder, I'm guessing. Let's see. Yeah, there's the Lynx Marauder. Yeah, and now they're just gonna kind of delay it. Um, Alright, no, he might just go into the Buckethead. Right, he stays right here. He can. One, two, three, four. Okay, so he can't get attacked. Yeah, he's one away from an attack by Angel of War. Um, but if he gets a double transfuse or something to kill the Buckethead, I, I don't think he has the range for it right now, though. He would need a lot more to be able to kill this Buckethead with the uh, Locust. He would need an attack by Skitma and then, like, double attack by Locust, and that's still not enough. Um, yeah, there you go. There's the uh, drummer getting ready for the turn where he can, you know, hopefully give the locust the uh, double transfuse or one transfuse to get the kill on the buckethead. Just gonna move back for a little bit right now. Keep him safe. Keep his uh, hunter safe. Turn the music off, why not? Why, what the hell? Yeah, sure, why not? Let's leave it off. Um, yeah, no, um, we have again the Farron Dancer out with Soften, Swap. Pretty cheap champ, right? And with uh, Farron Focus, you're going to be doing some damage as well, just because you're probably going to get every enemy to around minus two defense. So then this, this Farron Dancer is going to be doing 11 damage, maybe. Um, and then with Flourish, that means he can't. he's going to be hard to you know kill, get killed or attacked from range. Um, soften and swap. So it's like a good middle ground of like a, a um, support unit that can, like, if it needs to, deal a tiny bit of damage. Um, and then he has another, something like that, support unit, but he's more of a tank with 65 HP already because of the, um, incur or sorry, the uh, vitality creation. Good champ to get out first, which he did get out first. Um, and then we have the caustic slag. Um, 
46 range, but it is in power range, so after the 3 attacks, you'll only have 2-4 uh, range. That's why I don't exactly like myself. He has multi-attack 2, though, at 4-6 range, which is really strong. Um, but, you know, it's 77 Nora for this. I don't know. It's um, up to preference. If you're looking for the uh, the early advantage, Caustic Flag isn't bad. But I feel like 77 is too much for me. Too much Nora. Too much. Alright, there's a Locust Swarm on both of them, also causing minus defense, funnily enough. He has to remember though that the Marauder is out. The um, Longs Marauder is out around here somewhere, maybe around here. So he will be able to kill this hunter, I'm pretty sure. Positive actually. Maybe not the best idea to move in there. Should have only moved in if you can get a kill. Because, um, yeah, he's pretty much no matter what going to kill on this hunter now. I guess the hunter does have evasive too. Um, so he might be a little bit less scared of a. Um, attack from ranged but then again you have this um, this angel of war who's also yeah see here you can now see he has three extra um, speed and he's only within two champions that we can see that means that the long marauder is within four spaces of this angel of war but we can't see her so math man math is he gonna kill gonna get a kill on this rift lord probably not not with 14 damage only 15 damage Alright, now he's a double attack going on, so now he'll get the kill. No, he won't actually. He's one off from the kill. Shame. Oh, and he has a hive. Okay, so he gets, gets the kill with the hive. Um, might have been a better idea to play the hive down here, just so he can get the marauder, which is here. Now he doesn't get the kill on the mar marauder, and he doesn't get the uh, battle leader proc, which is kind of sad. But he got the kill on the uh, rift lord. But he has to watch out now, I'm pretty sure his uh, war... Uh, first he wants to flourish, or yeah, soften, sorry. Gets the minus defense on the Angel of War. Minus three defense on that range is pretty crazy though. See look, so you have now that um you have the Angel of War taking nine damage, and that's from you know an SL champ as well. You know, from the uh dancer, which is nice. See will he die? There's the uh, double attack. Ooh. Double attack from Marauder to deal. 30 and all damage, so 15 15. One spell, and then the aura plus the one hit from the Bucket Lord should make sure that this uh, Angel of War dies, unless he has some type of like Cane of Artaris out. Yeah, he doesn't even need to attack with the Bucket Head, he could just move him in and then have the aura plus all of the um, over time attack, the dots kill him if he wants. But I guess he might want the, uh, the globe, so it might be a good idea to go in. Ah, uh, he wouldn't be able to get the globe anyway. If he goes in and attacks, he'll have zero AP to move in to get the globe. Yeah, but Angel, well, I'm not sure if he's not going to move in with this uh, bucket head. Might be afraid of a swarm um, onto the bucket head if he does go in. All right, so he's going to risk it. He does have to watch out now for a swarm though from the locust. Oh. Oh, uh, and the fair dancer had another attack. I didn't see that. So he is able to move, run away with the uh, bucket head. Uh, this um, dancer though is in quite a lot of danger. If he has a um, battle drum plus some other type of AP gain, he could get a kill on this dancer. I'm pretty sure. Um, but that would put him in danger of some attacks here. But I guess he'd do pretty well, because if he's over here, gets the kill, so he'll get a swarm. He'll have four champs out. Um, the uh, Farron Dancer will be dead. That's no, not bad. Let's see if he does it. Does he have a... Uh... Yeah, I'm not sure what he would need, though. I don't think it's enough. He doesn't have enough Nora or, a, or like champs out. Like All these champs don't have anything for transfuse. Yeah, so he's not going to go in on the Farron Dancer. That's a good good choice. He doesn't have the Nora or whatever for it, or the spells. Um, they kill the Farron Dancer. Would have been a nice kill, though. It's a minus two defense right now. But the um, Hive is still out, so that's going to be doing some damage, at least, to the uh, Farron Dancer. He doesn't play a champ either though, so he didn't have enough Nora for a champ because he did play quick in the little turn beforehand. Um, kind of sucks for him because he needs some champs out. Right now it is three against four right here. 
and uh, this is only a support champ really, and then these two only do really well in you know conjunction with something else. Like so, especially the locust, he kind of needs some support to get in um, and do the d needs somebody else to do the damage so he can just get the last hit off. While all these other champs are pretty self, um, you know, not what was the word. They can do a lot by themselves, I guess. They can do some damage. He's out of range though from an attack from the Marauder. And he's going to want to attack this Hive. He's keeping the uh, hit on the Caustic Slag though. That's smart. He doesn't want to have the um, multi attack or the 4 6 range be wasted on the um, on a Hive when you can go for it. Yeah, the um, Hunter. Also, not the best idea because he does have evasive. But he gets one of the attacks off. That's good. And then he has not a lot of heal out now with Scare and Sustainer, able to heal 18 in one turn. So um, he is going to want to kill this Baron Dancer this turn or have it healed back to almost full next turn. Um, with, you know, 18 from ch Heal Champion Sustain combo. And of course, the uh, Battle Harden was always also nice for the other 6 HP <laughs> gain that he got. Alright, see, he's, he's desperately uh, shrine scrying. He needs to find the spell that he's looking for. Um, which I don't think he can. Alright, so he places an enigma. Um, good choice here because there's quite a lot of range out. And he knows he can't be, like, one shotted. His shrine is pretty, pretty safe from anything. Any kind of rush shenanigans. And he also doesn't need to stay in the, uh, in the shrine deployment zone. It might not be a good idea to do so anyhow, just because you don't want to get the minus two AP. But yeah, he doesn't need to stay in here because there's no champ from Sheepy in this font zone either. You, you don't. Yeah, there you go. 18 HP a turn. What a fucking champ, man. 55 HP starting. So he can even just be there as a tank if you want. He can heal up for 18 HP a turn, um, or at least every two turns. And he has, you know, battle hardened. So that's kind of insane. Yeah, really strong healing champ. Um, Buckethead, also not super common. Two defense is nice on this champ, probably because of the bucket is so strong. It's a defensive bucket. How can you kill anything with a bucket on its head, man? Anyway, uh, you know, it's a bucket. Eat some soup in that bucket. Moga soup. Anyway, oh, Skizzy Bolter is out now, so they're both kind of gaining some Nora, some some resources on the board now. Uh, you know, with the Enigma coming out and the uh, Bolter now as well. Got some range coming out just so they can, you know, hopefully go one on toe to toe with this Marauder. Um, they both have, you know, Rend versus Sunder. The Shadow Spawn is out, is gone now though, so he doesn't have to be too afraid of the Shadow Spawn affecting him. But, uh, ooh. Now we have the Canyon Slipped. The thing is, um, the Enigma can only be attacked from non ranged sources, so that's why he's okay with leaving him here. He's like, oh, it's okay if I leave him there, no matter what the, uh, Marauder won't really be able to attack me unless he moves two forwards. Then he's then he would actually be able to attack me. Maybe one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, because if the Marauder attacked from his lowest range, he would actually be able to attack the um the Enigma once if he wanted to do that. From here, he could do it. And then of course he always like <laughs> 45 HP. I mean, of course, Battle Harden is giving six HP, but still 45 HP, two armor. 9 damage, 7 speed from uh, Berserker if he wants it. Um, yeah. And more, not, not 9 damage, even more. Because of the minus 2 damage, so he actually has, you know, 12 damage. Oh, that's so strong. And then Ren 3. I didn't know it was Ren 3. Damn. Strong champ, man. Strong champ. I think it's Kane Slipped coming out. Um, incredible champ because of, you know, he can get in really quickly, charge Manic. Do it, you know, in one turn around 30 damage by himself. So, yeah, so no, he has to do something now. He has to make sure either he has to run his Enigma away, or he has to. All right, so he's gonna do that. I feel like he has to be more afraid of the Cane and Slipped. He's gonna just get, you know, tons of fuel rage. Be right here, attack, uh, charge, attack, attack once, and then one manic attack. That's gonna do like 45 damage by itself. And then this buckethead can maybe run over here with some type of whip or some sort, and then um, also just you know deal shitloads of damage. The uh, locust still around here though, somewhere in the sand. 
over here. I'm not sure why he's not going any closer with any of his other champs. Too afraid, I feel like. He is just is afraid, but about too afraid, but he is afraid. All right, so here he goes. Um, there might be something to stop that. Ooh, soften. Yeah, so he's gonna he's gonna kill the uh, ending of this turn. He's just gonna keep uh, fuel raging, and then he's gonna get like three attacks off with his cannon slipped. I don't want to move out of the way though. Or yeah, or swap. Also nice. And now you have uh, 17 damage. Let's see, one one attack can do what? 19 damage, then 19 damage again. Ha! You 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 would really think you would think that people have by now found out that this champ has warding. He's been in the meta for a while now, and people. Oh my God! It was even cheapy. He plays the champion himself, and he still doesn't know that Hannah slipped has warding. Holy. Anyway, so 18 damage. Um, only. Right, only 18 damage. Oh, because of the Sudden Lance bonus. 16 damage and then Manic to get the kill. Like, and that was the um, Dream Crusher to uh, get the extra 16 damage that he needed for the uh, death on the Enigma. There you go. Um, kind of slip might die though, but it is he is in the font. So whoever wants to like get into this font to kill the Kane slip will um, lose the AP if he wants to get in there. Yeah, no, this um this deck has everything right here. Um it has, you know, strong counter counter defense, right? It has heal, I'm pretty sure it has cleanse. It has uh dispel at least, you know, when I Thor when I was talking about it with Thor, Thor said this deck has everything. Alright, so what is this gonna be? War ba er, battle drum. He's gonna go for, go for a kill on the slipped. Ooh, seventeen damage, nice. He doesn't have any more AP though on his cane bolter to run out because he does have hit and run, so he would normally be able to run away. But uh, he doesn't anymore. He needs another spell to get a kill off. He doesn't have the range for the uh, Skelly Grumbler or the Locust right now to get this kill on the slipped. He needs an extra one AP, or he kind of did all of. He should have seen that coming though. That he was yeah. He, he lost. <laughs> all right. Well, that was kind of sad. This is a pretty sad loss. He's like, oh, it's a 1-3 range champ, not 1-4 range, damn. And then he lost. I mean, even if he got the uh, swarm off, I'm pretty sure it would have been done anyhow. Like, he, I don't think he would have been able to come back even if he got a swarm off. I'm guessing that he plays like, uh, I don't know, something to kill swarms quickly, like Bone Circle Staff. Ooh, that game... All right. See, see if they uh, do a third game. If not, be a nice best of three. There is. We go. He's number three. Um, of Thor versus Sheepy. Sheepy, Thor. All right. Thor. Ooh, nice start by uh, Thor. It's a two v two champ as well as it's Valdax. So all your champs are getting augment creation. Uh, that's a really nice start for Thor. Hopefully, Sheepy can also get a 2v2 champ out, or else, um, yeah, it's a, it's a Marauder again, I'm guessing, unless there's any other. Yeah, Lux Marauder out, for sure. Not horrible, because uh, he can't get attacked by range, but the double capture by Valdike will be really strong. Yeah, this, this uh, middle font deck now now gonna work against him. I know this uh, this is a really nice deploy. Uh, he either ooh, um, the the Longs Marauder now either has to place a relic because it's yeah, or he gets the um, he just gets the uh, the font yeah, which he does. Um, he is though very close. The manifestation is really close to the Valdax, so he does have to be in danger. Or he is in danger of a uh, attack from this, you know, a double attack from this manifestation because it gets eight speed um, because of Berserker. So he's gonna need to, no matter what, run away at least one space. And if he does that, he won't be in range of this font. 
So he won't be able to attack this manifestation. Manifestation is so strong. 83 HP or Nora for like a ongoing manifestation is coming, getting pooped out every few turns. Only 83 Nora. I feel like this champ should be more. Manifestation or spirit projection in general is just so strong. But that was a pretty nice counter gank. It's, it makes uh, Valdak a little bit in danger. If he places a relic, he could do that to keep his uh, this uh, font kind of captured. But then again, it might not even be useful to deploy here. Alright, so he's going to play Val- Oh, Vindrax. That's cool. There you go. You got Papa. You got- This is Mr. God of Destruction, and then you got Mr. God of, uh, you know, Life or whatever. What's it, what is it called? God of- Avatar of Creation. There you go. So you have Creation and Destruction here. Look at that. Orange and black. It's like Halloween all over again. That's kind of cool. Um, and they're not going for their side fonts now. They both see that they need to go for these fonts here in the middle first. Um, because both of them... I mean, there's a Longs Marauder out here. Going to double attack the uh, Valdak. Now at only 40, 40 HP. Has minus one armor. It, and then you have the Spirit Manifestation. Also going to do a nice you know, 13 damage. So he has to watch out. He does not want this Valdeck to die so early. That would be really, really bad for him. He needs to keep this Valdeck alive. 94 HP, or 94 Nora, to um, deploy this early and not you know, do much. Right now he hasn't done anything except for capture a font. Usually you want him um, out in the back, you know, cleansing aura, summon dragon. So he has to make sure to keep this guy alive. Even just running to this font might not be the best idea. He might just want to run all the way right... Alright, so yeah, he has Vindrax within this range now. He might want to just run uh, Valdak all the way away from any type of danger. Yeah, that's what he's going to do. I wouldn't auto-attack, though. Yeah, I wouldn't auto-attack because then the Spirit Manifestation... Yeah, the Spirit Manifestation right now can... Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, let me say, if you left him within these squares over here, then the Spirit Manifestation could pounce on both of them, which kind of would be a little bit, you know, not fun to play against. Sheepy's turn now, though. He's going to just jump on this Valdak, make sure the Valdak can't get away from the Spirit Manifestation. But it, the Spirit Manifestation, oh my god, I'll just call it the Spirit, alright? The Spirit um, has to stay within 8 spaces, is it? Let's see. 6 spaces. So the Spirit Manifestation has to stay within 6 spaces of the Spirit of the Mountain. So, um, But yeah, Valdak kind of getting rushed on. This is very strong. The, the, the deploy from the Mount Spirit of the Mountain being right on the Valdak was extremely strong, very very lucky um, making it so that Valdak couldn't disengage without spending the 2 AP and then now you have the Spirit of the Mountain, you know, within the uh, font, he won't be taking any damage from Vindax really and the enemy already has a uh, font as well He won't be able to keep it too many turns because of uh, the um, Enigma does have 7 speed, so he's going to be able to get over here quick enough. Yeah. Uh, so he will be able to get into this font. If it's a 6 speed champ, you, you have to use a relic, but 7 speed, so he will be able to get into this font. Ooh, what's he going to do? He's going for the Marauder, and he's going to put something... It might not be a bad idea because the, the, cool, the Pounce is on cooldown, so he might put a relic here to uh, stop the Spirit of the Mountain of, from coming forwards. No, he runs away. So he's running away with uh, Valdak and kind of rushing this uh, Marauder. But yeah, the Spirit of the Mountain is just doing work. A lot of work right now. He can't get the Valdak away right now. He just keep getting, keeps getting killed from the Manifestation. Um, and that's 94 Nora right there used. Um, yeah, this this Valdex's probably dead now from a spell. He didn't do anything except for capture a font. Couldn't even place a place a um a summons. He couldn't. He, he, he caused augment creation. That's nice and all on Vindrax and the uh, Enigma, but that's all really. Cleansing didn't even help. You know, he yeah, that was just a really nice, uh, really really lucky um deploy. <sighs> now he can um. That's the thing about uh. ST as well. He can run away into his font, and if he does that, if the Vindrax wants to follow, he'll be losing two AP when he goes into um, the font. So you know, Marauder can attack once, rush into his own font, make sure he doesn't. You know, the uh, Vindrax does lose AP 
when he goes into the font and um yeah very strong is it, it was kind of a good start but then also a good start by sheepy gonna get her own font or his own font next turn as well huh uh, so thunder land bonus 50% reduced uh, damage but you still take an 8 damage because marauder has hunter crippled see that's the kind of math where I'm like what I can't do that math minus 2 defense would mean he does 12 damage but then 50% re you know taking that away would mean that he would take you know 6 damage but then because of hunter you're taking 12 again but then sort of land bonus means you're taking 8 I don't even know so much math that I can't do so he goes in with the primal enigma so that means he whoa that he didn't go all the way into his font with the uh, marauder so there has to be a maybe a, bo a rock trap here or something I'm not sure why I wouldn't run away with the marauder farther He's kind of in danger of a double tap now from the um, quicken because he knows. I mean, they just played and they just saw that Bindrag or that Thor plays um, quicken. He might be baiting out the quicken just so that he knows that Valdrash will die next turn. An insta kill on the um, Ma Spirit of the Mountain would be the strongest thing he could do right now, though. That would be really strong for him. That would make him actually almost. That would Maybe even win the game. If you can insta kill the Mount Spirit of the Mountain, that means Valdak will actually maybe survive. But he doesn't have any magic damage out. So he's going to go in. Probably quicken. Okay. Place a relic. What's the idea behind that if you already have your champ in the front? He wants extra damage? Alright, there's the quicken. It's still not enough damage. Yeah, Hunter Cripple is kind of OP, man. You, you also get the reduced 30%. So instead of 19, that reduced by 30%, yeah, that's still 4, four damage left. And now you just have a Longs Marauder here. You can run behind this Relic, attack, and then, you know, he's done his work. And Valdex is going to die this turn because he didn't run away from the uh, Spirit of the Mountain enough, so he could get double tapped. So now Valdex dead. Yeah, I think this is going to be a good game too. That was a misplay there. Didn't run Valdek away, so he could get double tapped by the Spirit of the Mountain. And he couldn't get the kill from Vindrax because of Hunter Crippled being too OP. Poor guy. Poor guy. Hunter Crippled, man. Hunter Crippled. Yeah. That's also nice about the uh, Fair and Focus and stuff. So we have frozen, slow, sundered. And the um, sla oozing slag doing acidic damage, which is pretty hard to find a resistance against that, so you're okay there at least. <laughs> at least you stopped the Gale Force. That's a good good spell to stop. Castle Magic being 40 Nora, Gale Force being 55, so 50 Nora saved, or 15 Nora saved. Um, it's not bad. Yeah, it is a tough deck, man. It's a very strong, you know, just a lot of things that are just hard to deal with. Spirit of the Mountain, just in general, hard to deal with. Um, Farron Dancer, hard to deal with. Because, you know, it's just like swaps, so you can get away easily, flourish, so you can't, you know, charmed and then soften. He'll be able to kill the Marauder now, finally, but he will die that in the turn afterwards from like the uh, Cossack Slag and Dancer. And the enemy font has the font again. So he's going to want to run in on this guy, but then if he does that... Ooh, so he's going to the enemy font. Um, yeah, he wants to c contest, makes sense, but now this middle font will be taken by the uh, Spirit of the Mountain. Because it is within the range of both. So, unless he deploys something, I'm not sure why he didn't run the uh, Vindrax into both. Couldn't he have run him into here, into these two? He could have done that instead of up here. Then he'd be also contesting both fonts. But instead, now he's only contesting this font up here, and this bottom one is now taken. Yeah, this middle one was now taken. I think he misplayed that too. 
pounce in on the Vindrax. The Vindrax might die this turn as well. One spell. Ah, there you go. We got the Dream Crusher to get the kill. And that, that looks to be game. Vindrax is dead. Gonna get both of the Nora Globes. Which means that, you know, he gets another uh, 30 Nora. Th that was two 90 Nora champs right there. Those are the Nora Globes. So he got like 50 extra Nora right there from the Nora Globes. Um, and, you know, he's just in a really good position. Really good. Really good. <laughs> and then you have the uh, the battle hardened and Garen sustainer. Hmm, I wonder why he's not giving up yet. It's just too much. <laughs> Too much Nora, too much Nora and champs in the board for him to be able to come back in any way. Might be hopeful of like a one tr one round from uh, from Asset the Violence, but he's not even on the board yet. And uh, yeah. I guess two four range isn't that bad if you multi attack two. Make sure that's not bad, I guess. But he's 77 Nora, man. Yeah, it costs like ain't horrible. They're probably chatting up right now, being like, nice, nice deck. You're kind of OP. And there's the aspect of violence. So yeah, that's what I was waiting for. He might he's waiting for a turn where he can hopefully, you know, double transfuse and one round everything. And if he doesn't he's gonna surrender. That's his last hope. Um he needs the uh procs of violence charge to go off though to get the furious attacks. If he doesn't get that off then um the aspect of violence won't be able to do that much. So he's gonna jump in on this war banner. Attack the he wants the Enigma to get attacked ideally. Um or yeah, or the War Banner I guess, but he just wants the the, the um Furious Attack Strox. Also he doesn't have two champions out, so he's no matter what not gonna be able to save up AP like fully full save up AP on any of his champions. And the Spirit of the Mountain, no matter what, is gonna be a nice wall for um for this Esper of Violence. Yeah, Esper of Violence can't even come out of here now. He has to go for the Spirit of the Mountain, and Spirit of the Mountain is just going to be like, hey, I take 25% damage. It says immunity physical, but you actually do just take 25% damage from physical, um, from Aspect of Violence. You'll see. Pretty positive. Ha! You have to be within 3 range, mate. There we go. There you go. Uh, I got 6 charges now on this uh, Aspect of Violence. Pounce does not count as an attack, so you still only have 6 charges. And no, the, the Serial Mountain will get attacked, so it's not, it's not, it's that, there's that. And he'll take like, uh, say 13, is 49, so he'll take, what, five, 3 damage, 4 damage from the uh, aspect of violence. Huh! <laughs> okay. Four damage. Yeah, so like I said, you do you do take damage from physical attacks, even though it says uh, immunity physical for incorporeal, you still take damage. Surprisingly enough, it's uh, a thing I found out. It's kind of weird, but you know, bugs and stuff. Let's go in one more. Gets the attack off on me. Enigma. Spirit of the Mountain just won't take any damage though because of uh, that armor or that uh, incorporeal. So he's just gonna keep sitting there. The aspect of violence is kind of just stuck now in this four four box spot. Um. Hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah. And even if he get did get out, he'll lose two AP from uh, movement toward this uh, font or into the font. He needs some sort of magical attack on the of violence, or or he needs like something to cause a better amount of magic, like solidify. Yes, we need to solidify. That's what we need. The only spell that does like create incorporeal champs to make not incorporeal. Yeah, he's just gonna fuel rage the um cane slip because he can't deal damage with range. Oh, he's gonna move. Ooh, he better run back in there though to keep the aspect of violence in check. He doesn't want to leave the um aspect of violence. Yeah, he's gonna move back. Good. And there's the kill on the enigma from the uh, manic. You still have to find still stuck with him. Now even a smaller range of boxes. Poor aspect of violence, he can't get out. He's too fat. Poor guy. And he only has eight charges even. Because all these attacks have been passive attacks. Like Manic is passive, Pounce is passive. So they don't count as like, you know attacks, basic attacks. That would probably be GG though. I thought it was GG before, even when the yeah, there you go. Not a good game. <laughs> Lost quite a bit of rating off those three games, but um, that's all she wrote, man. That's all she wrote. All right, we'll leave it off to that. GG, guys. Good game. That was fun.